Okay, so it's Wednesday, August 25th, and um, yesterday, a state Republican uh, representative in Pennsylvania named Russ Diamond posted on social media the following. What's it called when someone sticks something into your body against your will or coerces you to let them? He's referring to vaccines. He's he's making an equivalence from the vaccine to rape. This is the GOP. I don't know how people like this get elected. Unbelievable. And not only does he post it, um, he writes, you know, there's a word for that. And then he goes on to explain his post to say very explicitly, for the woke crowd, learn to think. In this analogy, the vaccine is akin to sexual activity due to the physical nature of both. Voluntary engagement in either is fine, but forcing someone to do either is wrong. Holy fucking shit. I don't know how he um, has sex, but it's usually not in the arm. What an asshole. Um, and there is no mandatory vaccination. There's um, a vaccination requirement if you want to do certain things, which is not a new concept in this country. We've done it for decades. As long as there have been vaccines, we've, been, we've said, okay, you want to go to school? You have to show your vaccination uh, papers. Um, if you want to travel, you have to show your vaccination papers. I just, I don't understand how people like that become in charge of stuff. And not only that, then when offered the opportunity to remove that person from being in charge, people say, yeah, that's the guy I want making decisions. Fuck. The electorate has got to be just so dumb. And he's in uh, like Lebanon, Pennsylvania, which, uh, you know, it's not, it's, it's outside Philadelphia. It's, I mean, it's not, you know, rural Western Pennsylvania, but holy crap. Um, that's just mind boggling to me that someone would make that comparison about, a, you know, a violent assault to a life-saving medicine. Um, in other coronavirus news, as of yesterday, um, Florida's total death count from COVID-19 and New York State's COVID death count from COVID-19 were about the same. But now that Governor Cuomo has gone, um, the numbers have been released that included uh, deaths at home, deaths in prisons, all sorts of things that Cuomo excluded um, and increased the total death toll to 55,000 in the state of New York. Um, but we'll never know the full number in Florida because um, they're going to continue to hide that. And we all know he, uh, DeSantis changed the reporting um, and has been undercounting the deaths in Florida um, for months. Um, I still don't understand, again, uh, where he isn't held accountable for being now, having policies that are creating uh, Florida, the epicenter of, uh, of the virus. Um, and why anyone would want to travel there is beyond me, um, especially in August anyway. Oof. Um, the other things going on, what else is happening? Um, the, we've taken an over 20,000 uh, evacuees from Afghanistan in the last day, um, which I, it's somewhere near 90,000 um, people have been evacuated since um, whenever it was the 14th of August, yet the conservative media just keeps showing, you know, the same clips of Afghanis, uh, you know, chasing after planes. Um, in one instance, they showed a picture of a crowded airport um, that was under a panic and it wasn't Afghanistan at all. It was some footage from um, some disaster five years ago. Um, but, you know, Biden keeps getting slammed. Um, and no one seems to be talking about what they're actually doing. And I, I, this is a complaint we have from the Democrats continually is that we don't actually get the good news stories out. Um, we let Fox News and the New York Post and 
you know, OAN and whatever, Newsmax and all those bullshit organizations drive the narrative. And even the, the, um, the other mainstream publications use a negative spin on, uh, on their headlines and no one ever really gets to, um, hey, the Democrats have done something um, other than just what you're complaining about. It looks like the um, reconciliation bill is going to pass um, the legislature, but I didn't. I haven't seen that on one one piece of information about that that I could find this morning. Um, everything else is about how terrible the Taliban is, and uh, and how terrible everything is going in Afghanistan. Not that the Taliban isn't terrible, um, but uh, you know there is progress in Afghanistan. We only have twenty five hundred troops there. Like and 90,000 people have gotten out so far. It, it's, it's a lot of evacuation in in ten days. Um, and uh, the other day, our friend Ms. McCain um, compared Kamala Harris to the Joker, questioning whether or not there was a mental health issue, which seems really fucking atrocious to claim that the vice president of the United States has a mental health issue um, because when she addresses reporters and, and is trying to be jovial, she laughs. Um, I don't know, Megan, if you've watched the vice president, um, it's a, it's a uh, um, sort of an auto response from her is, is, to, is to be pleasant and unassuming um, and non-combative. I think it's probably part of the, you know, ingrained training of being a woman in politics and places of power because um, women are constantly accused of, uh, you know, oh, smile more, or you've got to be tougher, or don't wear this, and, you know, what about your hair, blah, 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 and get completely um, abused uh, at every turn, no matter what they do. And so it's probably, you know, an, an, an affected, um, uh, you know, defense mechanism and and response to be like, let's be okay. Um, and you liken that to some sort of mental health issue, uh, which is disgusting. Um, and then compared to the Joker. Um, meanwhile, Vice President Harris uh, was in um, Vietnam and laid a wreath on your father's uh, memorial there um, and said kind words about him. Uh, because, I don't know, she has honor, grace, and decency, I suppose. 